development and security and the role religious bodies have to play in all of this. I'm joined now by a prelate of the Catholic Church and former president, Christian Association of Nigeria, Cardinal John Onayekon. He joins me live from Abuja. Uh, Cardinal, thank you so much for joining us on the program this evening. Thank you very much. God bless you. And congratulations. You have now joined the Octogenarian Club. How does it feel to be 80? Indeed, indeed. It feels like 80. <laughs> <laughs> it feels that you are 80. And I, and I feel 80. Yes, I feel 80, which is the sum of our years for those who are strong, according to the Bible. And uh, it, if, talking of the Bible, after 80, you are actually on your own from that point on. So I don't expect much, much more from life. I'm only looking forward to the other life, which will last forever, namely paradise. But well, do you feel accomplished, though? Kind of, well, I'm asking if you feel accomplished. accomplished. Mm. I didn't come into this. <laughs> well, uh, uh, it depends on how you how you explain the word accomplished. I didn't come into this world with a, with a, a, a roadmap of what I was going to do with my life. Rather, I entered into this world and I moved my moved from one year to the other, and I was guided throughout my life with the effort to do the will of God, and uh, I tried my best in whatever position God puts me. And looking back, it seems that uh, God has giving me a, a, an appreciable amount of success in the areas that I have, um, uh, have uh, worked on. So looking back, I certainly can say I thank God that my life has been well spent. Cardinal, we probably will have, have to look for more time subsequently to have a robust conversation with you. But a lot has been said about your contribution to national unity, particularly okay. your your inter-religious dialogue initiatives. Um, in your opinion, how well would you say that Nigeria is doing in that regard? This is an area that really, really uh, touches me to the, marrow, to the bone marrow. And I put it this way. There are many issues integration difficult. There are there are uh, um, ethnic diversities. There are political uh, dislocations. There are even historical historical uh, 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 problems that keep cropping up and making living together difficult. Difficult. But now we are here. We are also been told that our religious differences is becoming to, is being seen as part of the problem. Now this is where, as a religious leader, I am very very sad. Because religion, by its very nature, ought to be for peace and for the unity of humanity. Now, so I have spent much of my life as a religious yeah. leader making it clear that uh, you, to be a religious leader, you must be somebody who works for peace because you must be acting somehow in line with the will of God. And we believe that the will of God for his creatures, for his children, is that they should live together in peace. There are some, 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 some germane issues that we must not forget. Namely, uh, religion is about God. And the major religions in Nigeria, whether it is Islam, Christianity, or the, or the African traditional religion, we all believe in one God. And this one God is the God of everybody. But at the same time, there are diversities of religion. And even yeah. diversities within some different religions. The, first, the question is, how do you, how do we then, um, how do we manage to manage the religious differences within the context of a one God whom we all claim to worship? And Absolutely. in my opinion, I believe that it is not impossible to manage our religious differences. Because the religious right. differences are, on, are only the human, the human structures for our effort to, uh, to um, access God's favor. And it takes Cardinal, different forms. 
I'm afraid we've completely we have yes. completely run out of time, and uh, we we'll probably oh, we'll just, um, we're going to ask our people to just hang out and hang on there and see whether we can continue this conversation, you know, at the top of the hour. But I've been speaking with prelate of the Catholic Church and former president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Cardinal John Onayekon. Thank you so much for talking to us.